So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use 2D physics materials to create bouncy balls, icy surfaces, and anything else you can kind of think of. So 2D physics materials are used to create different types of surfaces, different types of uh, physics uh, applied to um, game objects in a Unity scene. So let me just show you what this does. So when I hit uh, play here, you're going to see this ball is going to just infinitely bounce forever. It's just going to bounce. It's always going to bounce back to the same point on screen um, and just forever keep bouncing. As you can see, um, it'll just keep bouncing back to this position right here. That's because we have it set to constantly bounce on just uh, a one a hundred percent so it gets the exact same force from where it is if i was to bring this higher um let's just bring it all the way up here and i let go you can see it's going to fall down all the way from 22 and go all the way back up to 22 and it's going to keep going back down and up there because it's going to apply the same force it's given and that's the infinitely bouncing ball. So let's just stop this quickly, turn off the ball, and let's go to the slope and block, which I've set up here. So we have a block and a slope, and we have physics still for both of these. Um, the slope actually has no friction, meaning it is just going to become like an icy slope, and the ball is set to just a default material. So let's just hit play and see what happens here. So you're going to see the block hits it and slides straight off. That's because the slope has no friction whatsoever. So let me just delete everything but the ground. So let's just delete. So we have this ground object. It is basically just a sprite renderer with a square on it and a box collider here. Uh, I'm going to delete the physics material as well. There you go. So we are now with a plane scene. Uh, just so you know, we're using Unity 2021.3.11F1. Uh, if anything changed in the future, so if they change physics materials or anything like that, I will try and do an updated video. So let's get started by creating a, uh, let's start with a 2D circle, um, which is just going to be our ball. Uh, we're just going to reset that so it's in the center. We're going to add a, uh, well, we're going to add a rigid ball body 2d and a circle collider 2d um, and we're now going to create our first physics material so let me just show you what happens if we hit play on this now this ball is just going to be affected by default gravity hit the ground and stop because it has zero bounciness to it that's not how balls really work they're filled with air and when they hit the ground the air is bounced around inside the ball and cause it to you know bounce all over the place so let's actually create something like that so we're going to create a physics 2d physics material 2d and we're going to call this the ball material now back on the ball we could add this to the um actual material here but because we're using a rigid body 2d it's actually going to use the rigid bodies material so what we're going to do is we're going to select this and actually apply it to this. You can apply it to both if you want, but you do not have to. Now, I've noticed sometimes when using uh, the bounce mechanic, if we don't set this to continuous, it may not get the correct value. So if you set it to bounce to 1, so if we look here on the physics material, we've got a friction of 0 and a bounciness. Now, you can set this as high as you want. If you set this to 5, every time it bounces, it's going to get 5 times higher than it was before. Um, and that's basically just saying we're multiplying it by five. One means we're just going to multiply it by one. So whatever the force is when it hits this, it's just going to multiply that force and apply it back, which is going to send it straight back to the same point. Um, and there you go. So we don't have to change the friction at all for this. It doesn't matter if there's loads of friction or little friction, it doesn't work. So the default friction in Unity is 0 0.4. So I just leave it at that one, crown bouncy balls. Um, now, here you can see this is that um and this is basically how you set up so let's have a look what this will do so let's hit let's hit play and this ball is just going to bounce infinitely back to the same spot over and over again uh, and it will just keep doing that until basically you stop the game or you hit it with something else you pin it down i don't know however you want to do that but let's say we don't want it to bounce like that because that's not how bouncy balls work in real life. There's a bunch of different factors that slow it down and it won't bounce infinitely. Um, so let's say we set this to, let's say, 0 0.8. That means every single time it bounces, it's only going to bounce 80% off its original height. So when we bounce it the first time, it's going to come to about here. Second time, third time, and finally, it will just no longer bounce. It will come to almost a complete stop. So you're going to see here, bounce, bounce 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 and it's going to do that little boom 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 until it comes to 
a complete stop and there you go you can see that's no longer changing the value there that's now stopped completely and you can see the different type of oh, the different ways that actually affects it um, and we can mess around with this we can set this to like 0 0.2 so let's say you have let's say what a lot of cricket ball which doesn't have too much bounce because it's quite hard um, let's just hit that so as it bounce it just hits it hits the ground it does a little bounce and then stops so you've kind of got that sort of ball there let's set this to two now and oh go back set this to two and let's actually hit play and this should now bounce two times higher and if we go to the scene here you're going to see it's going to keep bouncing and bouncing higher and higher so now it goes to there next time it'll probably be all the way up here and there you go Oh, it's gone even higher because it's doubling the amount of bounce you had last time. So even though it was here, it then doubled it again. So we can mess around with this. So let's say if you want it to incline slowly, you could do something like 1.05. And that should slowly get bigger and bigger and bigger, the bounce. So it goes to there and then there. And this should slowly, if we go to the ball, you'll see this goes slowly above 1. So that's 1.3. As you can see, it's getting higher and higher. It's almost touching the roof. And it will just keep on going. It will keep adding that 0 0.05 to the bounce every single time. Look, it's about to go off screen now. And there you go. So you can see how that affects it. So that is the um, how you create like the bouncing and how you use the bounce. What about friction? So you could apply friction to this ball. It's not going to do too much for this case. It's only bouncing straight down. If you're bouncing at an angle and you apply more friction, then it's going to lose some of that bounce. So... Let's say, let's zoom back in. Let's say you bounce a ball and you go this way and you have a high friction. When it hits that, it's not going to bounce as far that way. However, if you set this to zero, it might even slide as it hits and bounce away. But another way we can do this is let's say we duplicate the ground quickly. Let's change this to something called the slope. Um, let's turn off our ball for this example. Uh, let's put this down to five and let's minus 3.5. Um, so there you go, we got all it's just three. There you go. So we now have a slope here. Now, so we have a slope, and let's rotate it on the z axis just a little bit, or you know, let's let's rotate it quite. Low. Let's do let's do twenty. There you go. So that's quite high. Let's then get a square. So if we use a ball, it, it doesn't matter how much friction we apply, it will always roll because it's a circular object, unless we froze the rotation on the z axis. Um, so the best way to show you how the slope or the um, the friction would work is by using a square because squares do not actually um, they don't they're not round and when they hit that flat surface they're going to not slide around so let's call this the block um, now on our slope we want to create a new uh, physics material 2d so let's create a 2d physics material and call this the slope material now we're got, not going to have any bounciness on this slope. This slope doesn't actually bounce at all. It, it doesn't have any sort of uh, bouncy properties. Um, and it's not like a trampoline. It's, we're not just planning to make this a bouncy surface. So what we want to do is actually add friction. So we're going to set the friction to about 1 here. And with the block, we're just going to add a box collider 2D and also a rigid body 2D. Now we're not actually going to add anything else to this other than reset transform. And let's just hit play and see what happens. Oh, did we forgot to apply the actual slope material here? So don't forget to do that. So here we go. Let's hit play. This goes down and you can see it kind of rolls, but it doesn't slide off. Now let's go back to the slope material. Let's turn this down. Let's say 0 0.4. Let's hit play. Let's see what happens. So when it hits that, it still slides. And you can see it actually slides off the platform because the friction is less. So that is kind of how you create that sort of slide. Now, let's say we do a lot less. Let's say we have more of an icy effect. So let's change the rotation of our slope to something a lot more like five. So you can see there, it's only a small surface. Now, if we go back to our slope and we set this to 0 0.4, like the default uh, and the actual block, um, the block doesn't have a material. So let's just hit play. Now, as this falls down, you can see it slides a little bit. It literally stops basically after well a minute, couple of milliseconds there um, which is fine but if we go back to our slope and we lower this let's say 0 0.2 now and let's hit play let's see where it ends up here you can see it again didn't slide too much uh, but now let's set this to zero so this is going to have no friction at all however the block will have a little bit of friction 
but when it hits this slope, you're going to see it's infinitely sliding off because friction multiplies to friction. So if this has this, will have by default 0 0.4 friction, but this has 0. So 4 multiplied, 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 is still 0. So you can see here, it just slides right off. Even though it's only a slight slant and really, it shouldn't really do that. But because it's this more of an ice texture, you've got no... Uh, no bounce, there's no friction, so you get this cold, ice, sort of, slidey feel there. So let's do that again, just so you can see that sort of animation happen. It hits that, and it slowly slides off. It gets faster and faster, actually. If we take this slope, and let's just make it 10, so it's a bit wider. Um, and move it on the X to, let's say, uh, minus 3. There you go. So now let's just watch what happens here. And we'll go to the scene view, just because... You can see it gets faster, 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 faster until it's thrown completely off the map. Uh, and that's just because there's no friction. So it's just getting multiplied its force, um, its gravity um, and its mass at times to move it straight down here and off the side. Um, and that's kind of how um, the phys basically physics materials basically just allow you to change how the, the, pr the surface of the object reacts to other surfaces now you can add let's say we can make a bouncy platform here we could change this slope to be um, a bouncy platform so we can set this to zero um, and make the slope a bouncy platform so let's say this 0 0.4 uh, set the friction both these 0 0.4 the block however is going to have no bounciness so when this comes down it's just going to hit that and bounce a little bit because this is more um, as i said it has some of the bouncy this let's change this to one hit play and you're going to see this now becomes another infinite bouncing platform so it's kind of like a trampoline um as it hits it it bounces it back um and there you go that will slowly change you could do this more for like a 0 0.8 to give that sort of if you dropped like a rock on a trampoline it would bounce bounce and then slowly get less and less and less until it comes to a complete stop um and there you go so here's a little experiment you can see here I'm doing. If I just stop this, hit play, uh, we're going to see this all happening. These are bouncing into each other, causing some weird sort of bounciness there. And there you go. They finally came to a stop. The ball is set to, so here's the different things there. So they're both set to the same, 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.8. Um, but let's swap these around. Let's move the block and put this to mine, oh, sorry, 2. Uh, and the ball just to 0 and see what happens if we do it this way around. And there you go. You get the same sort of thing. Um, I, that is very well balanced. Um, normally, this would probably tip over, but because it's perfectly centered, it's kept it straight. But there you go. You see the same sort of effect there because it's just happening the same way. Because these are both bouncy, you get that sort of that bounces that back up in the air until they both come down to a complete stop. And there you go. So that is that is how you use physics materials. You can mess around with these settings, change them completely how you want to create different types of surfaces. So let's say you have a really gritty road um, that's harder to drive on than normal ones. You can change this to apply that sort of friction to your objects. Um, if you want a um, really bouncy castle style area in your game, you can up the bounciness. Um, uh, lower the friction so it's a slippery bouncy castle you can do all of those things inside of unity try it all out uh, mess around with the fist materials let me know what you guys create with it in the comments down below um, but guys that's going to be it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this super simple uh, basic i hopefully i explained everything as best i could um, <laughs> but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to leave a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and i will see you in the next video peace out